So the first trailer for the highly anticipated Alejandro G. Iñárritu film, The Revenant, has just hit the web. The film stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy and is described as follows. In an expedition of the uncharted American wilderness, legendary explorer Hugh Glass, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is brutally attacked by a bear and left for dead by members of his own hunting team. In a quest to survive, Glass endures unimaginable grief as well as the betrayal of his confidant, John Fitzgerald, played by Tom Hardy. Guided by a sheer will and the love of his family, Glass must navigate a vicious winter in a relentless pursuit to live and find redemption. The Revenant opens in limited release on Christmas Day with a wide release on January 8th. John, what did you think of the Revenant trailer? I remember it was about six months ago and going, wait a minute, Leonardo DiCaprio is going to be, be a, in a movie about desperate conditions, survival, and revenge being directed by the guy who did Birdman. This is going to be his first Oscar. This is going to be uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's first acting Oscar. The trailer comes out today. I am more firm in that belief than ever. This trailer was Awesome. The way the cinematography is done is like just the way they chose their shots and the angles of the shots, it, it just made you feel the tension and everything. And holy crap, that one thing, that one scene when DiCaprio's on his horse, like running for his life, and then the camera kind of sweeps in because you get a closer look of his face from behind, and he turns his face to look like the terror on his face and the desperation is like. Holy, and that shot with the bear. Like, I'm only, I'm watching this on a little computer screen. I'm like, ah, and I'm like freaking out. <laughs> this trailer is incredible. I cannot wait for this movie. One of the best directors in the business today. One of the best, a couple of the best actors in the business today. Shot up in Alberta, Canada. Can't go wrong. This trailer is amazing. Shep, you saw, what did you think? Blown away. I absolutely cannot wait to see this film. Uh, such a visceral experience. The trailer alone you know, when I heard about it's like he gets mauled by a bear and he's like some trappers screw him over. I thought it was literally from that description going to be him kind of chasing Tom Hardy and one other dude, like just like a very like one person and one person against nature or something. And then you see this trailer. It's big. It's a yeah. big movie. Uh, Dennis and I were talking about how it's all shot with just natural light. Yes. It's just yeah. uh, the cinematography. Once again, incredible. So, uh, you know, exciting. And uh, like I, I like the word visceral to to describe this trailer because it truly is it get, just pulls you right into to the, the film. So I cannot wait to see it. Christian? Um, I don't know what the movie's about, and I don't care because <laughs> this movie looks so awesome. And I don't want to know so much what it's right, about. I know right. enough from the trailer that I know that I am there opening day. Um, this is a... There are superstar. There are directors that are the stars of movies now. Like we've talked about it with Nolan or, or Vaughn or Tarantino, who it is. You go there because you want to see their movies more than just who's in it or even right. what it's about. Interrupt is one of those guys now. Too, yeah. From from his limited amount of movies that he's done, because of what you guys were saying, those visuals, man. Like in the beginning, that opening battle, and Schnepp, I think that was exactly the point of the trailer was to let you know this is a big movie. Yeah. And but with but not just a big movie. This is a movie that's going to have a lot of stakes at it. And I also like when you saw Tom Hardy, he wasn't like a typical like, that character with the missing teeth and like a gnarly. He was. It looks like and in the synopsis, his buddy who's hunting him down. The only thing I'm worried about, and I don't know because I don't know what the story's about. I don't want it to be another you know uh, Dancing with Wolves or Last Samurai or something like, like a story that we've seen before. I want to mm -hmm. see a new take, and I feel we'll get that. But man, am I on board. This is one of my most anticipated for sure. Yeah. One of the really cool things when you stop and think about this is when you look at uh, Alejandro's last film, Birdman, I've always said this, and I, I still believe it. The first job of the director, who has many, many, many jobs, but the first job of the director is to get the best performance and the correct performance out of their performers that they can. And then you look at what we got with Birdman. Michael Keaton, one of, arguably maybe the best, but at least one of the best performances he's ever turned in. You look what he did with a guy like Zach Galifianakis, who turned in, who who you could have made an argument for best supporting actor. No, I'm just, he, he just was incredible in that in this movie from start to, start to finish. You look at what Emma Stone did. You look at what Naomi Watts did. You look at what, uh, there was a, a best supporting actor nomination for- um, Ed Norton. For Edward Norton. Right. Uh, I mean, now you take that guy, Put him into the wilderness with Tom Hardy and Leonardo DiCaprio. And natural light. And all natural <laughs> light. Shut up. It's almost unfair. Yeah. It's well, almost unfair. It's a great point because what actors do, like actors really respond to their artists, you know? So they actually they really respond to people that they respect, that mm -hmm. people they want to work with. And this guy has that not just level of, okay, Michael Bay is famous right now and making a lot of money, so I want to be in a Michael Bay movie. 
that's not this. This is this is someone that they want to work with. I respect, like you said, all the points that you just brought out of look what he did with Birdman with a small movie like mm. that. Of course, of course, DiCaprio's going to sign up right away, Hardy right away. And these guys together, I think that Inception's the last time they were together. So I want to see those guys go at it because you have Tom Hardy who's kind of like the the new the new guy, and you got DiCaprio who's younger but still an old vet. So um, yeah, this this movie sounds amazing. Yeah, it you, looks amazing. You brought up a good point. Actors react. They don't act. They react. Right. So that's. Why he brought them out to the wilderness? You're so deep. Well, I'm just saying is why it was such a long, long shooting schedule is because he wanted them to be in it. Yeah. You yeah. know, so and from seeing all the footage, you see them in it. You see them reacting their, to their environment. It doesn't look like a movie. It no, looks like it it's actually someone yeah. like yeah. someone went back in time yes. and just shot like actual stuff that happened. It looks so real. Like at, uh, within what two and a half minutes, mm -hmm. I felt like I was watching historical footage. Yeah. Yeah. If bottom line, if you haven't seen this trailer yet, hop on YouTube, search for. Uh, the, the Revenant trailer, you'll find it, or it's, in, it's probably in our show description too, so check out yeah. down there, watch this trailer.